Here's the thing. We are a little concerned, aren't we, boy? Before the show starts every night, we might to, like to meet the audience, you know, get to know them a little bit. There's a Canadian in tonight. So, normally, normally, of course, that's not a problem. But we've got a very rare Canadian. This one, when he laughs, he goes like this. see or hear us <laughs> by the way if you've just tuned in we're just like any other talk show <laughs> you ready all right this will be fine From? Jason. Jason, where are you from, Jason? Canada. Canada, which part? Outside Toronto. Outside Toronto? Yes. Everybody's from outside Toronto since the mayor, aren't they? <laughs> Do you, have you ever met Rob Ford? I have not. Neither have I. <laughs> but in a way, I feel I've lived his life, sort of. <laughs> Partially. I've never been the mayor of Toronto, have you? Uh, never. <laughs> what are you doing in California? In I... such a fancy red jacket. <laughs> I'm on a layover to San Francisco. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I got a layover, and then I said, hey, can you extend the layover so I can come to your show? Airlines will do this? Yeah, you will. <laughs> well, we're going to send you to a gosh darn swanky Hollywood restaurant. Awesome. Thank you. Wait, wait. You don't know what one it is yet. <laughs> what one is it? La Canta Veneta. These Canadian food? <laughs> if they have poutine. Awesome. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just... Let me just reassure the folks at home. Poutine is not a word for vagina. <laughs> is there anyone here with you? Uh, are you on your own? Uh, once I get to San Francisco, I'll be with someone. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> but you're just here on your own? Correct. Well, that's going to make for a kind of sad dinner in the restaurant, isn't it? I'll Why don't you pick one of the studio audience to go with you? <laughs> okay, you don't have to. We'll be right back with more scintillating, just like any other talk show, talk show. Sponsored by Direct TV. Don't just watch TV, Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. That's great. Well done, everybody. That was very exciting. That was very good, uh, very good audiencing there. Weren't they good? Really good. Really I'm good. very excited by this audience. I hope they come back one day in the future for more audience. <laughs> this is the kind of audience you hope will come back one day. Because they've got their own little things. They've got their, oh, 
and then they hit you with orgasmic balls of organic energy. And then there's a guy over there who just in the middle of quiet bits will go like that. Before you got here, I talked to them for a bit. We have a snorter in the house. <laughs> sorry, Matt. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. I know. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Please. Please, everybody, be calm. Relax. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. It's like that. It's the duck. Yeah. He only did it once, he only did it once. It's like that whole thing, you know, it's like the Viking name, you know, Vlad the Sheep Shagger. Yeah. <laughs> Good friend, yeah. Well, no, they call him that, I mean, and he, <laughs> what? what the hell? Do you know the joke where he says, ah, you one sheep, and that's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that joke? Come on, man. You believe this? Racist, you, you are, are a racist, racist, man. Racist, come on, man. Well, I, I, I don't know what to tell you other than, it's a great day for America. Not, oh, not, not for our friends in the Midwest uh, the, the, and the Great Lakes. The meteorologists say that 90% of the Great Lakes are frozen over. It's very cold. Here in Los Angeles, we're recovering from three days of drizzle, so we can relate. <laughs> My latte was tepid this morning. <laughs> tepid. I, t I was like... no kale in this. <laughs> People uh, from Chicago are being urged to stay. Did that appeal to you, that one, for yeah. some reason? Yeah. It's the first time I've seen you laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, people uh, from Chicago are being urged to stay off the frozen lakes, but if you want to see someone from Chicago on thin ice, just go to the White House. Ah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Anyway, stop. No. He's not from Chicago, he's from Kenya. No, it's a joke. It's a yeah. joke. It's a joke. Relax, everybody. Craig, he's not from Kenya. I know he's not from Kenya. Yes. No, he's not. <laughs> it's a joke. I'm not kidding. He's from Hawaii. Hawaii. The other one in Kenya. No. <laughs> Just the regular Hawaii. Anyway, President Obama, his approval rating is at an all-time low. But don't worry. He has a surefire plan to make himself look better. It's called letting Joe Biden make a speech. <laughs> Very, very political tonight. Very political, political tonight, yeah. Like That's it. it. I'm going to stop now. Okay, good. No, i tell you why, because I heard this hear about this thing, the guy in Florida. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a man in Florida going up to people at random and urinating on them. <laughs> That's the noise I made when I heard about it, <laughs> ladies and the gentlemen of the strangely familiar studio audience. No, this guy's going up and urinating on people, and, and the police are saying that the suspect lacks bladder control. And they're like, well, that doesn't really narrow it down in Florida, does it? <laughs> are you the person that's urinating on people? Okay. <laughs> I'm one of them. I feel bad about it. I was mock I'm mocking people for it. Incontinence is a problem. Sure it is. Yeah, you've, you've wrestled with it for years. Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I did wrestle with it when I was drinking, yeah, actually, right. a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah. When I was drinking, oh, boy, it just... Uh, things have changed. You were like a flamingo back then. I was, yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. Flamingos do urinate on themselves it's to, true. to, to, to true. keep cool. That's why they smell so bad. The flamingos, they're like, oh, it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> And that's why we hate, that's the noise I make when I go to the bathroom, everybody. Mm. Gets you some funny looks at the airport, I can tell you. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, and happy birthday to Toronto, the great city in Canada. You hear? Yeah, great city. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, man. Stay off the snorter. <laughs> so he's Canadian, eh? No, <laughs> you heard of Toronto? Sure, yes. Yeah, sure. yeah it's Toronto's birthday, they turn 180 years old today. 180 years old. They look good, but they're starting to show their cracks. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> there you go, yeah. All right, that's, well, that's great. great. 
I think I'm done. That's it? Yes, yes. There's no point in doing too much of a monologue. Yeah, you don't want to. Everybody's doing monologues these days. You know the, the late night guys, they come out, they do monologues. That's what they do. That's their yes, thing. Yes, that's yeah. what they do. We're just like any other show. <laughs> just a middle-aged white guy in a suit telling jokes from cue cards. <laughs> oh, where are they? <laughs> in here, bitch. <laughs> And it really is tonight, right, Jeff? Yeah, you bet. It's this night. Tonight is tonight. Things are all as they seem around here. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Yeah. You should. I'm going to do, do that I'm, again. I'm yeah, going to do it again in the should. future. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey? It's Tweet Mail Time, brought to you by Flamingo Pants. Get a leg up on your incontinence today. <laughs> leg up. Sure, yeah, yeah. Back yourself into a stupor. I don't mean this stuff. I the poop us. Have yourself with a funky group. I freak your body, mama, got you know it's super. Super creepy. Super creep. Welcome back, everyone. This is from David in Williamsport in uh, Pennsylvania, I think. Uh, have you ever been Williamsport, there? Williamsport, one of my favorite of the ports. Great port. Where, what other ports have you been to? Uh, John's, Johnson Port. Yep. Good have you port. ever been Have you ever been to Dover? Uh, yeah, have you, I, a couple times. Have you? Well, been to Dover? Yeah, been to Dover, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been to Dover. I, did, did you enjoy it? Oh, many, many times. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice place. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about it? Well, well, there was no pressure, you know? That was the thing. <laughs> Easy going. <laughs> uh, David uh, says, Craig, is the phone uh, on your desk an unlisted number? No, I think, I think you can pretty much look it up and call in, I think. I don't know. Oh, well, maybe you can. Uh, hello? Yeah, hello, Craig. It's Miriam. Oh, hello, Miriam. How are you? I'm fine. I told you not to call me. Crikey. No, bitch. Don't you speak to me like that, sissy boy. Let's see what kind of socks you're wearing tonight. Why do you make me do this? Slowly, slowly, deliberately. Mama's got plenty of time. No, Miriam, I won't be your plaything anymore. I own you. Wow. Miriam. Oh, uh, hold on. Hello, Miriam? Yes, yes. Uh, is there anyone else there? Sure, sure. Just who, who else is there? Well, just a moment. Let me go get him. Uh, oh, I, I, well, who is it? Well, why don't you tell me? <laughs> Uh, is, um, Liam Neeson there? Sure, hold on a All second. Right. Liam, Liam, it's, yeah, it's Craig Kilborn on the thing. <laughs> Hello? Hello there, it's Liam Neeson. Oh. Oh. Hello, Liam, I've got some stuff of yours. What sort of stuff do you have? Perhaps you have to find out, Liam Neeson. Tell me quickly, there's no time. I don't know who you are, but I will find you. And then I will turn off the television. <laughs> I own you. Oh my, wow. Wow, that was amazing. amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is from Ryan in uh, Philadelphia. You ever been there? Yeah, great place, Philly. Well, what did you like about Philly? Oh, I had a, had a nice uh, Philly cheesesteak. Well, funnily enough, yes. this is where the question is. Oh, is did Craig, did you ever have a Philly cheesesteak? And if so, was it delicious? <laughs> I did, and it was great. 
They've got two uh, restaurants. The big thing in uh, Philly, as I remember, the two... Uh, cheesesteak places, Gino's and Pat's, That's right? right. Gino's and, and they're Pat's. very close to each other. That's true. And people say, Gino's and Pat's. Is it Gino's or, do you like Gino's or Pat's? Right. But then and people who are really from Philadelphia go, oh, I can have all that. And they all go somewhere else. <laughs> Where, but some unnamed place. It's like a local sort of dive people know about. Serge. Serge. Serge has the best Philly cheese. Is steaks. that right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, he could probably call in and talk about it if he could look up the number, but he can't. <laughs> this, is, this better be good. Hello? Hello? Hello, this is Serge. Oh, hello, Serge from Philadelphia that makes cheese sticks. Yes, how are you? I heard you talking about our place. They have the best cheese sticks. <laughs> I'm from uh, Bulgaria, and then I live on the Upper West Side of New York for about 20 years. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, much the same. I'll speak to you later. Okay, come by. Ha come by. You. Have a steak. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, we should really rehearse something. That's sometimes. great. <laughs> hmm. Uh, this is from Corey in Florida. He says, uh, Craig, I started watching your show in Iraq, and it kept me sane. I'm starting college soon, and acting is my dream. Any tips or recommendations? <laughs> Follow your dream. <laughs> and if you're ever in Philly, go to Serge's. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, this is from Miguel in Austin, Texas. You ever been there? Miguel, yeah, sure. <laughs> Was that, was that when you went to Dover? That's right, okay. yeah. Uh, Miguel uh, says, Craig, I have to use three adjectives to describe your TV show for a college paper. Can you help? Um, I'll do one, you do one, all right. you do one, all right? An adjective each to describe the show. Okay. I'm going to say crispy. All right, I'm going to say uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I think that's more of a verb. <laughs> Horses are literate. It's so upset. Yeah, no. All right, this is from Ari in Penn's Landing in New Jersey. He says, uh, Craig, you keep mentioning Soren Kierkegaard on your show. Are you obsessed with him? No. Soren Kierkegaard, the gorgeous Danish philosopher from the 19th century? You're a little, you're a little obsessed. You're a little obsessed. Sometimes I think about him. What, no? What oh, the hell, oh, man? What oh, the okay. hell? That's it? I thought maybe a little music, or I thought yeah, you might what? call me or something, but no. Fine. Just show a picture of Soren Kierkegaard. Yeah, oh, that'll... Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, if this is what you want to do. <laughs> Hello? Hello, this is Soren Kierkegaard. <laughs> well, what a surprise. I thought you were dead. No, I'm still around, and I'm making great cheesesteaks. <laughs> we right back here. tonight is a beautiful little and talented actress. She's author of a new memoir. Oh, hold on there. It's, on, it, it's right there on the desk. Hang on. Ah, ah, sorry. Um, it's called uh, Rosie Perez, Handbook for an Unpredictable Life. It's in stores now. Please welcome the adorable Rosie Perez. Uh, 
The Torah's stir. Oh, I, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm a mandal, so I almost let my Whoa! <laughs> really? I'm, well, dress, you know. Y yeah, I'm going thinking now. <laughs> You look great. That's a great dress. You look Thank sensational. You. Really, you know, attractive. Hold on. Thank you. What the hell? <laughs> How are you doing? You look great. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Did you heart colors your hair? Yes. It's nice. Thank you. No, it looks really good. Did you gel yours? Yes. Oh. I gel it. I have a geller. You have a geller? Yes, I did. I know. It's difficult to uh, know to buy. I've done it. Yeah. I just made up worries. Did you? <laughs> did you? Is it all true? Yeah, much. Really? What do you mean pretty much? <laughs> It's my move. It's like how I remembered it. Know what I mean? So you, you made made some stuff up when it was good. No, 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 no. Like um, like my cousin Millie told me, and she goes, "That's it." And I go, "Oh, so you know." Well, yeah, I guess that's all right. Uh, <laughs> is there photographs in it? Yes, there are. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, all right. That's my mother. That's my father. That's my grandmother. <laughs> uh, what's this here? That's the home. That's the Catholic home with the nuns. Is that a, a, a sad and frightening chapter? Yes. <laughs> that's the nun! Is that you with the hat on? Yes, that's me with the hat on. Oh, you're so pretty. Aww. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty now, but you were pretty that's then. That's when I was younger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. when I was younger. <laughs> that's my sister, Carmen. That's the summer she got. Ay, caramba! She thought she was like hot, Ooh, la, la. you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, we all do when we get those, don't we? <laughs> These are, cause did you have to? Because when I did mine, the the publishers made you may go through all the old uh, family photographs and look them out. I found it a kind of weird experience. Not always happy, actually. I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a rough childhood? I did. Really? Yeah. What happened? Well. My mother, she was, uh, she suffered from mental illness, and when I was a week uh, old, she sent me to my aunt's house on my father's side, said, I'm going to go to the store, I'll be right back, and she didn't come back for three years, oh. and then she took me to put me in a, in a convent run by nuns, and... That they all are. Yeah. <laughs> And, and some of the nuns were really nice, sure. but majority of them were like evil, reincarnated, like demonic. Is this a movie you saw? Or is no! This is real, this is real. Like one of the girls that was one of my best friends, Crazy Cindy. That's not, that's not her real name, but I have, but the crazy part is. And, All right, um, right, I'll get it. And, um, and I, I remember I, I was asking her and I said, why are the nuns so mean? And she goes, because they're lesbians and they can't have sex. <laughs> ha, ha, hang on a second. <clears throat> the views expressed by Crazy Cindy <laughs> in no way represent the views of CBS or me or anyone else. You can't see that on TV. Oh. Sorry. I mean, uh, maybe. No, it, that oh, was. A, that, that's when we were kids. That's when we were kids. Right. That's oh, not, right. Yeah. It's yeah. Actually, that yeah. doesn't count. Right. No. Okay. You know. You gotta stop touching me. You're married now. Oh, stop it. Yeah, well, you touched my leg right there when you did oh, it. Oh my God. Do you, does it go through all your like? Why? Did, how did you end up going from a convent into show business? Then how did that happen? Well, I was I was going to college for biochemistry. Okay. Stop. <laughs> How did you get into biochemistry? Don't let the accent fool you. Okay? No, 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 no. You got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. You're looking for a racist right over there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't mean that. I just mean it's a very specific thing. Biochemistry. It's like, what yeah. do you want to be? Biochemist. I mean, that's. Well, because I almost drowned when I was 12, and I got obsessed. And so I was like, I'm with Soren be... Kierkegaard? <laughs> no, with marine biology. So oh, I really? wanted to be a marine biologist. Why is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> Don't worry about them. They're lesbians, and they can't have sex. <laughs> Which, by the way, excuse me, I just have to... I know lesbians can have sex. I'm not saying that the lesbians... I'm just, you know, it's just a call... Never mind. Uh... No, but if you're a lesbian and you're a nun, then you can't have sex. Right. Well, you, you can't have any sex. It's a celibacy. You, right. It's the whole idea is to abstain from sex, whether it be heterosexual or homosexual sex, is to abstain from all sexual congress. Yes. Yeah, that's why I never did it. Anyway, look... <laughs>
<laughs> so you became obsessed with biochemistry, so you went to college and then decided that... Then I wanted to go back to Brooklyn because I hated Los Angeles. And the night I was leaving, I went to a nightclub and I bumped into Spike Lee. We got in an argument and he said, this is fate. I want you to be in a movie. And then I became an actress. Really? Yes. What were you, what were you arguing with Spike Lee about? It's an old story. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> Tell me the damn story. So, so what happened? You, you, he was having a butt contest to see which black woman had the biggest butt. Well, he's changed a bit, hasn't yes. he? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he's very proud of this story. <laughs> he's always like calling me, Rosie. That's not how it happened. I go, that's how it happened. Yeah. No, that's not how it happened. Well, you know that's going to happen. A lot of people that you were around are going to call you up. Did you, did you dish out anyone? Did you tell any tales? You did? <laughs> did you get into trouble? You did? <laughs> what's what's going to happen? Are people going to sue you and stuff? They can. Because it's real? Yeah. <laughs> did you write about me in there? Am I in there? <laughs> No. Because I'll, I'll sue you. <laughs> it's tricky, though, because I remember when, when, I was, when I was doing it, when you write about people that, you know, there's some people you want to tell the truth, but they, like if they become famous and stuff, then... Well. Um. Yeah. But, you know, I, you know there's, there's a disclaimer, and, and, I, and I change uh, certain people's names. I didn't change Spike's name, but, you know... <laughs> He can handle it. He's he a, can. Yeah, he's fine. And we're friends. Yeah, that's good. Know? He'll never put you in another <laughs> movie, but he'll be fine. <laughs> no, It'll be we're fine. Cool, did, we're you, cool. did you call up people and ask their, their uh, advice and stuff? Like, you know, did you say, do you mind if I tell you that, that story about that time you I were did, comparing did, you butts in what? that nightclub? Yeah, no, I didn't call Spike for that one, but okay. I should have. But, um, like, I called uh, Woody's uh, Har Harrison's, I called his wife, because I was going to tell a story about him. So I called his wife to get her, her okay. And did she say okay? Yeah. So what's the story? <laughs> <laughs> Read the book, I can't say it. Well, well just tell me what page it's on then. I'm... Oh my God, you're making me blush. Is it a blushy story? Yeah. Did you do Woody Harrelson? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. A little no. bit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm go I swear I'm gonna read this. <gasps> There's a cuss word in here. <laughs> There's a lot. Wow, you swear a lot here. <laughs> You're making me blush. Well, I've well, never heard you swear. I know. But you swear like crazy. What do you mean? I just sweared in the first 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's like right. Yeah. No, I made it up. How have you been otherwise? You been busy? What's going on? I've been, Writing a yes. book? Um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, You're married now? How long? I, I'm, uh, since September. Oh, congratulations. That's uh, 10 years in Hollywood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can never forget our, our wedding anniversary since it was the day after the Mayweather fight, so that's how I remember it. Yeah, that's always the best way. Put it near a large sporting event. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> but no, everything, everything's good. You're still crazy for the boxing then? You're still going to Yes, fight? yes, yes. I'm, I, I'm not going to go to the Canelo Alvarez fight. It's in uh, Vegas on Saturday, but I will be watching. And, uh, is, he... it on, is it on the pay-per-view? Because I might watch that one. Yes, it's on the pay-per-view. Canelo's an interesting one. Did you see that Canelo's fight last year against Trout? Yes. Do you think he won that fight? I do. Okay. I do. I do. I think he won that fight. It was a close fight. It's very close. And Austin Trout is a very good boxer, so yes. I hope he comes back. You know, but it was a very close fight, but Canelo Alvarez did win that fight. Well, do you know with that, in that fight, though, when... Uh, we'll be right back. But the, you know that... <laughs> <laughs> you know that fight where um, he, uh, when uh, Trout fell, I think he fell. I don't think that Canelo knocked him over. You think he knocked him over? I think he got the best of him. I think, I think he, he, uh, he surprised Trout. You know, well, that's, yeah, I think, that's not I, taking any, anything away from Trout because he's a good boxer. Uh, I think, you think Canelo's going to win on Saturday? I think Canelo has a lot to prove on Saturday because after the Mayweather fight, that was a big loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Mayweather took it's him no to It's no shame school. to lose to Mayweather, though. No, I mean. there isn't, but the way he lost, it was, it was a one-sided fight. So he has a lot to prove on Saturday, and he's fighting a really tough slugger, this guy, uh, um, Angulo, in, uh, from Mexico. To right. Mexico to Mexican. And um, so, you know, but I think he, he might have the slight edge. Can I just interrupt you a second? You didn't think this was going to happen, did you? <laughs> we'll be right back with Rosie Perez. We'll be right back.
I was just... I was just talking to Rosie about her. He's your cousin Sixto, right? Yes. And you always talk about him when you're here, and I've never met him or seen him. Or, in fact, I don't even know he, if he really exists. He does exist. He was going to send you a video, but he got nervous. A video of what? Not like that. Like what? <laughs> he was going to say hello and introduce himself. He well, probably would. He could, he could call me if he wants. He <laughs> oh, hang on. Here, you, you get it in case it's Sixto. Okay. Hello? Hey, no. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? It's, uh, I think it's probably... Hello? Six Who's this? Yeah, it's, uh, it's me. What's up, girl? <laughs> Does that sound like No, Sixto? no, he has a Mexican accent. He oh, he has a, he has a bad. Mexican accent! <laughs> yeah, hey, he has uh, a Mexican uh, accent. Orale, what's going on, man? What's happening? No, 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 no. Sixto has... Why am I talking to the phone? <laughs> And this guy has a bad Mexican oh, accent. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, goodbye. I'm still here. Oh. <laughs> you are a you are a racist. <laughs> no, you're a racist. Whoa. You're a racist. <laughs> so uh, we're out of time. Okay. Do you do meditation? No. Maybe you should. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or yoga. Do you do yoga? I'd love I to do, see you doing yoga. Not in this dress. Man, that's, that's the dress I want to see you doing yoga. <laughs> do you do yoga? Uh, no, no. You I do Pilates. Pilates? I like Pilates. That's the one with the equipment and the... Yeah, know. but you don't need the equipment. I do Pilates down at the Mark Morris with Nathaniel. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> He's, he's the, the, the Pilates instructor at the Mark Morris Dance uh, Studio in Brooklyn. Oh, you still do the dancing then, right? I dance in my house. Do you wear that dress? <laughs> Only for my... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How creepy was my laugh there when I went... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was like kind of Dracula. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on, it wasn't that creepy. I know. Just, I'm gonna have to call my husband and explain the show. <laughs> if you can explain this show, <laughs> there's plenty of people want to hear from you. A lot of them at CBS. All right, uh, let's uh, meditate then, or we can do an awkward pause. Uh, uh, um, whatever. Whatever creams your Twinkie, I'm with. <laughs> Kids. That's my new saying. No, it's not sexual. You make everything sexual. <laughs> it means what makes you happy, you know? Whatever creams my drinking. Rosie Perez, everybody. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at lstickets.com. funny comedian. He's uh, on April the 2nd at the Comedy Works in uh, Greenwood Village in Colorado. His new hour special is out soon. It's called uh, Ballet Comedico. It sounds very clever. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. It's he dances in it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> the hell's going on right now? I have no idea. Man. <laughs> Please welcome Brian Kellen, everybody. Brian Kellen. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Yay. Yay. Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. So nice to be in Southern California, isn't it? The most beautiful weather in the world right here, right? Unbelievable. We got the dry heat, right? The dry heat, I like a lot better than the wet heat. Right? You ever been to the South? You ever in Houston, Texas? You can't wear boxers in Houston, Texas. Because everything sticks. 
You can tell someone's from out of town by the way they cross the street in Houston, right? How's your day going? Well, I've seen better, I'll tell you that right now. It's, it is moist out here, and it's moist out here. Oh, there's my bus. Hang on, sir. Will you please hang on? Oh, my God. I love it. I love, I love Southern California. It uh, is my favorite place because it's warm. I hate cold because when your feet get cold, they never warm up, right? It ruins your night. You can never, you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and you go and you come back, you can't get back to sleep. No matter how hard you do that little sea otter thing in bed, you ever do that? <laughs> right? It's friction. It's supposed to be working. It's not working, right? <laughs> then they have to revert to the warmest place on the planet, which is right between your wife's butt cheeks. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and she's Latina, so that's hot down there. I'm telling you that right now. You can hear it, Shh, oh my God, I love you, honey. I never thought I'd say this, but I wish your ass was bigger so I'd get the other one in there. Oh my God, my foot's a panini. Look at that thing. It's all toasty on the outside. Oh. I, I'm so happy to be married, though. I have to, I, I'm, I'm very, very proud to be married. I've been married for, for quite some time. And uh, I love it because before I got married, I was always a guy who got set up on dates. I always got set up. And when you're a guy and you get set up on dates, it's always your buddy's girlfriends who do the setting up. They got tons of buddies who have girlfriends are really hot who have friends who ain't. <laughs> it's always a girl I got, the ain't chick, right? You show up at a party, there's tons of beautiful women. They're like, hey, Bri, meet your date, Sylvia. <laughs> what the hell is that? Please tell me that's not my date. That's the missing link is what that is. What the hell? It's nice to be nice to be married though. It's good. I'm very attracted to my wife, and thank God she's attracted to me somehow. I don't know how it is. Last time I was at an airport, she wanted to have sex in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried that? Having sex in a car in the last two years? You gotta practice that. <laughs> right? Remember in high school, it was like a gymnastics meet. Body body parts are flying all over the place. Just grab one and hang around and play with it. It was fun. <laughs> Now you're older, it's a little more cramped in there, isn't it? You're like, okay, a little, little stuff. There's something sticking in my back here. We gotta shuffle. Can we shuffle? Can we shovel. I, I, like I got a cramp. Can you turn it? Open the door. Open the door. I got a cramp. I got a cramp. <laughs> shuffle. Here we go. Did you kick the radio? It's loud in here. Your ass on the horn now. <laughs> hey, thank you guys very much. It was a lot of fun. Thanks a lot.